Hi guys, welcome back. It's Kim with Lumo Home and Garden and today I'm planting up some of my pots. I love these big clay pots, but you know, when you start adding in three and a half inch annuals at $4 each, it can get pretty expensive. You have one on each side of the, the walkway and a couple more on the porch and bam, you have a big investment in annual flowers. And so today my goal is to give you five tips that are going to help you plant beautiful pots on a budget. I'm going to demonstrate my first tip with this exceedingly tall clay pot. And when you plant a flower, you're probably only going to need about this much room from here up because your roots aren't going to go that low anyway. And you just have this much pot that you're not using. The bigger the pot, the more space at the bottom that you're just going to have to fill with soil and waste that expensive soil. So I do this. I reuse water bottles and you can crush them up and make them any size to fit the bottom of your pot. So starting with your empty pot, you just place in some pot bottles and most water bottles are easy enough to smash up. So you can just put them in and fill up that empty space at the bottom. Any size you want them to be. And now you're ready for your soil. So tip number two has to do with the soil itself. Now that your pot is half filled with plastic or other material that is going to allow you to save money on your soil, you're going to go ahead and fill your pot. But my advice to you is to use the least amount of expensive soil as possible. So if you pick up a few bags of the cheapest soil possible, like topsoil or just plain potting mix, that is what you're gonna put in your pot first. And you're gonna leave about this much space, no matter what size pot you're using. This is enough room so that when you add the expensive soils, you're not using as much and you're saving a ton of money. If you add in a few cups of the soil per pot, then your plants are still gonna get fed and fertilized and all the nutrients that they need Tip number three is to use annuals. Now you may already be using annuals in the three and a half inch pot like we talked about before, but if you fill in with the small annuals in the cell packs, they usually come four or six to a pack for like two bucks. So you could totally fill in and add in lots of colors, lots of varieties with your small cell annuals. You can even do your centerpiece out of the smaller pack annuals. There are lots of different flowers that make great centerpieces. Coleus, for one, makes a great centerpiece, as do marigolds, which are my favorite flower. They make a great centerpiece. But also salvia in purples and pinks and reds, that makes a great centerpiece also. And then you could fill in with lots of contrasting colors. Choose your bigger colors, or, or maybe if you're gonna use geraniums as your centerpiece, you if you're gonna use geraniums for your centerpiece, you could totally pick out your geraniums, put them in your cart, and then do your color matching while they're in your cart. And of course, you can contrast color, you can complement color, you can do all shades of pink, you could do various shades, you could do all kinds of combos and make it your own. And that's just it. Flowers are beautiful, so just don't get too tied up about it being perfect and just make it your own. Plant what you like also I'm going to caption these names that I'm mentioning down below so that if you are new and you are going to a garden center for the first time you have plant names that you can look for that will make sense to you. Tip number four you could totally purchase perennials. Perennials will be larger. Perennials come back every year and you could put them in your pot. They're gonna fill up a larger space in your pot and they're gonna come back year after year. So at the end of the season, you can take them out of the pot, you can plant them in the ground somewhere and they can come back next year and then you can put them back in your pot. If you tend to like the same thing, you can replant your pot over and over. Some great perennials for planting pots are salvias, of course, a great centerpiece for the center of your pot would be some perennial grasses. They grow tall and they come in a variety of colors and they just add that great formal look to a pot. And last but not least, you can totally overwinter some of your plants. When you are looking for those trailing things that come out of the front of your pot and add that 
trailing beauty to your pot. You can look for vinca and ivy and sweet potato vine. There are many options you can use. But when the season is over, you can pot them up, take them inside, and make a house plant out of them for the duration of the winter, and then you can reuse them again next year. Well, friends, I hope this video was helpful for you to learn how to plant big pots on a budget. I hope that you will like the video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you will be tuned in to know when I post my next video. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse.